Welcome to Black Net Universe. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, fellas. Welcome to my video. How is your day? Hope your day is fine. My name is Egi Primanda Alvisya Bahri from Mathematic Education, Professor Dr. Hamka University. In this video, I will tell you about rigid motion and line segment. Before you are watching my videos, please click thumbs up button and subscribe button on your screen. Then let's start. Rigid motion. There are three basic transformations that can be done to a shape. Reflection, translation, and rotation. This transformation move the shape without change the shape or size. Reflection. A reflection flips a shape over to create a mirror image. This is for the example of reflection. We have triangle ABC here. And we can reflect the triangle ABC with mirror line. Then we flip over the line to create the mirror image as another triangle that having vertices A dash, B dash, and C dash. The second figure, which is called the mirror image, is exactly the opposite of original picture. We can understand this with try to stand in front of the mirror. Then we see our reflection on the mirror. But we see a mirror image in which is everything is opposite from the real one. Whenever shape is reflected, its set of the corresponding must be the same distance from the line of reflection on the mirror line. For the example is we have ABC triangle the distance is point A 5 over the mirror line and A dash same distance with A the first we have reflection then the second is we have translation a translation moves our slight shape for the example, we have a rectangle that has been translated, move or slide, or we can say that the vertices of rectangle ABCD have been translated, move or slide to the points A dash, B dash, C dash, and C dash. The new rectangle called the image has been moved up to the right. Translation always moves an object, but it doesn't change or flip it or turn it the size and the shape. Each point is moved the same exact distance and exact the same direction. Before, we have reflection and translation. Now the third is rotation. A rotation turns a shape and rotated a shape. For the example, it is we have triangle has been turned or rotate sometimes shape are rotated just a few degrees and other times they may be rotated significantly. Here, whenever rotation occur the image or figure 
you must always stay the same size and the same shape. It's only served from a point as a center of rotation, like the center of a clock. Now we go to the second topic. The second topic is line segment. In geometry, a line segment is a part of a line that is bounded or restricted by two district endpoints. And in a line segment co contain every point on the line between its end point. Example, the line segment, we can find it on any geometry polygon. More generally, when both of the segment and point are vertices of a polygon or polyhedron, the line segment is either an edge. Evaluation time of universe. Now we can try to subtract what we have learned before. Put a line segment here. Before it, we have two endpoints as a endpoint of a line segment. Point A is 5.5 and B is 2.2. We can we want to reflect it or flip it over over a y-axis. And here we get uh, another line segment A dash and B dash. A dash is min minus 5.5 and B dash is minus 2.2 after we reflect it we want to rotate it or turn it 90 degrees and 0 as a point center to rotate it before we have line segment now we turn it 90 degrees here now we have another line segment a dash is minus 5 point minus 5 and b dash is minus 2 point minus 2 after we rotate it we want to translate it or move it by two space to the right before we have line segment and now we get another line segment after we move it to space to the right a dash is minus 3.5 b dash is 0 point minus 2 Okay fellas, I appreciate y'all because y'all watching until the end of a video. Thanks for watching, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!